this one PFR and MFR. Yeah, our idea is to find out under unsteady state conditions, if I start uh, PFR under unsteady state condition or MFR under unsteady state condition, when do I get steady state? Because we should know, no, approximately we should have that idea. Okay, let us take first PFR, easiest one. When do you get a steady state if I take a PFR? Unsteady state, uh, residence, time. residence time, yeah. Then, why? Yeah. Very good, yeah. Now, if you go to CSTR, mixed flow reactor, or MFR, CSTR. So, the, it, that also no problem, that is also one only. Okay, one, one mean residence time. Sir, in the ah. PFR, I think uh, steady state is reached after twice of the space time, in two tau, after two Why? tau. Why? That I do not know what you want to do. That you do not know means, <laughs> you have to tell. When all the particles pass before Yeah, so I, I, in a plug flow reactor, when do they pass and in a mixed flow reactor, when do they pass? Zero. That means even before starting, you will get steady state. <laughs> what do you mean by zero? Zero time. Zero time means you are not started. Okay. What is the time required for uh, you know PFR? All the particles to to come out. One batch. Okay. One batch is one volume. It has to come out. So that means one T bar or tau, right? Okay. So that is why, as far as PFR is concerned, steady state is no problem. If it is really ideal steady state, you are starting. Okay. So, then the material will start coming, entered and then slowly coming out. Right. So, once it fills up and then comes out, then we know that is equivalent to one, one mean residence state. Okay. So, then afterwards, next batch will enter and then exactly it also comes out in next T bar. So, that is why once first T bar comes out, okay, so then onwards you have always the steady state. That means, just one mean residence time is enough for uh, unsteady state PFR to become steady state. From then onwards, it should, it should not change. Okay. And a mixed flow reactor? That is also one tau. Then what is the difference between this and this? All the particles will come out uh, in a mixed flow reactor in one tau. What has, what has happened to your RTD funda? Huh? Theoretically, it is infinite. Theoretically, it is infinite because uh, theoretically it is infinite, and you cannot wait for infinite time because you never get the product. Correct? No. Theoretically, if you want to infinite till uh, you know infinite time, so that is why we have to now find out that what is the practical time. So the practical time, even for mixed uh, sorry uh, plug flow, <coughs> the theoretical time is one mean residence time. Practically, you know you, you have the slight disturbances near the walls and also you have that small fluctuations. Okay. If you give that allowance, normally 1.2, 1.5 times you should be able to get steady state in a plug flow reactor. So, plug flow is no problem. Okay. So, ideal plug flow PFR needs, needs 1 tau, uh, okay, 1 tau for steady state. I mean, we are talking about ideal. Practically, it may be you know one time or one point five, or sometimes only if you have slightly more disturbance, then you will have twice. Okay, so like that, I think one can wait that much time, and we have that much time to wait, and then we can get it, no problem. But for MFR, unsteady state MFR, we can't say so easily. So that's why now let us. Uh, write the equation. So, here I have V C A naught, this is V C A, I have volumetric flow rate V and of course, I may also have F A and all that, F A naught, F A, X A, here X A naught equal to 0, all that we have. So, now we have to write the balance for unsteady state. Okay. So, unsteady state here, we have input equal to output plus reaction plus accumulation. Now, this we cannot ignore. So, that is why 
we write you know easily in terms of concentration that is easy. So, V into C A naught is input. What are the units of this? Moles per time. Okay, good. So, this is V C A outlet. This one is minus R A into V. So, I can write if it is first order. Okay, I will take it is first order. Plus accumulation is yeah, V D C A by D T. So, now this uh, now let me say that I have first order reaction. So, if I have minus R A uh, somewhere here I will write minus R A equal to K into C A liquid phase reaction. So, now we will substitute that and then we will arrange this equation. I will give the final expression V C A naught V C A plus K C A into V okay, plus V D C A by D T this that is equation number 3. So, divide the whole thing by volumetric flow rate then you will get in terms of tau. Okay. So, that is C A naught equal to C A plus K K C A into tau plus tau into D C A by D T. So, this is equation 4. So, now I will also write this one in terms of a differential equation. This is okay, I will write here D C A by D T as plus tau oh, C A. I can take this is minus C A naught by tau equal to 0. So, this is the differential equation. <coughs> Okay. So, this needs <coughs> the boundary conditions. Okay. Good. So, now the boundary condition is that at uh, time t equal to 0, one boundary condition, this is a first order differential equation, we need one uh, boundary condition. So, at uh, tau at t equal to 0, because this is unsteady state, you know, this is t. Okay. Yeah. So, at time t equal to 0, we have C A equal to 0. That means, in the outlet at that instant of time, the moment you put uh, T naught is 0. I mean, that is one logical uh, explanation. Okay? Good. So, that is the one. Uh, and uh, substituting this boundary conditions and if you solve this equation. Okay? So, what do you get? I am not giving the solution. You have to do it. right? So, what you get is C A equal to C A naught 1 plus k tau 1 minus exponential minus okay, 1 plus k tau by tau into t. Outlet concentration because this equation is C A. C A outlet. Okay. So, that is why. Good. Yeah, boundary conditions, mathematical boundary conditions sometimes confusing with the physics. So, that is why you have to be careful. So, this is the equation number 6. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, theoretically speaking, that is what Ramakrishna was telling that you know if I take T equal to infinity only, then this becomes 0, then this becomes yeah, C A naught by 1 plus K tau, which is nothing but steady state concentration. Okay? But you do not have to wait till uh, you know infinity. Practically, we have to also think. Okay? So, that is why what we do is uh, let, let T s, T small s be the time, be the time necessary to reach to reach 99 percent of the steady state concentration that is C A S. 
steady state concentration C A S, where C A S equal to C A naught by 1 plus k tau. I am assuming not infinity, but I am assuming that I have 99 percent. Okay, good. So, now if I substitute equation 6, you know, because I want to write this one as steady state. So, I have uh, um, this is equation 7. Equation 7 I will substitute here. So, that will be C A equal to C A S 1 minus exponential minus 1 plus k tau by tau into T. Okay. Yeah. So, this is the equation after substituting 7 in 6, okay. 7 in 6, okay. good. Yeah. So, now here my, my definition is that uh, you know this C A, I will get the steady state when this is equal to 0.99 C A S, 0.99 C A S, eh? no, please remember 0.99 C A S. So, when I write here 0.99 C A S, that is what is given here, okay? 0.99 C A S. So, then I have here C A S okay, into 1 minus exponential minus 1 plus k tau, all this stuff. Here T, okay. Good. So, now this, this I can cancel out. Now, can you find out the T equal to how much? From that equation, exponential you separate 4 point? Oh, my God. How fast you have done this? So, yeah, I think what he said is right. I think you have to do that. So, that is T s is T s is so 4.6 4 4.6 tau by 1 plus k tau. This is the time. So, that means the steady state time for 99 percent uh, you know reaching steady state value depends on the kinetics as well as residence time. Okay, kinetics as well as the space time. Okay, we will now assume that we have k tau very small. That means k may be very very small, and k tau also is very very small. So then we can neglect k tau. Okay, so you can neglect k tau. So that means when I say that I have uh, for reactions where k tau is approximately 0. Then what do you have here? So, T s is 4.6 tau. Excellent, that is the equation. So, this will tell you, okay, volume by volumetric flow rate, now you see, it is not 1, minimum 4.66. Okay. So, if I have 1 minute for example, 1 minute is yes, the tau, then I have to wait minimum 4.6 to reach 99 percent, yeah, that steady state conversion. Okay, if it is 10 minutes, 46. Okay. So, this is the practical time. Generally, we say 5 to 6 mean residence time. That is, that is a thumb rule in the laboratory. 5 to 6 mean residence times. That has come only from this, but that too strictly valid for slow reactions. Okay, I think I have to also write for reactions, this is slow reactions. Otherwise, you do not know what is that after some time. Minimum 4.6, maximum minimum is same here, because to get 0 0.99, 0 0.99 CAS, okay, steady state value, I have to wait this much time. There is no question of maximum minimum there. So, K tau is approximately 0 for very, very slow reactions, because K value is very, very small. Okay. So, then this is 0, this is 1, I have 4.6 tau. Do not know, I think you know, I do not I don't want to call that as maximum or minimum. That is the time I want to wait to get 0 0.99 CAS. Yeah, if the first reaction is there, so that means K tau is very large for first reaction, K tau is far greater than 1. Okay. So, now what you have there from this equation? Ah, numbers. This is 8, 9, 
10, 11, okay. So, then of course, one is uh, neglected, then you will have T s is 4.6 by k wave. See, now kinetics also come there and life is not that easy. Why? Because I have done only for first order reaction. In the examination, I can ask you second order reaction. <laughs> second order reaction. So, that is why the steady state value for a CSTR is not that kind of simple thing. Okay. But in industry, they wait for you know 10 um, times, uh, okay, uh, 7 times, 8 times, 10 times, 12 times like that and then finally, measure the concentration for uh, maybe 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour, 4 hours and if almost all that is same, then we will say that we have steady state. You see very innocent looking uh, CSTR, where happily we ignored that we do not have steady state, we have only sorry, we, we do not have unsteady state, we have only steady state, how much thing is involved there. Okay? So, this is the information, but I think you know plug flow is a nice guy, because ideal plug flow, it will simply sweeps the entire volume out once and then onwards you will have steady state. Okay? Good. So, now, uh, the I think story is not at over here. If I plot this concentration C A versus uh, time, okay, that, that means this equation, which equation? 6. Yeah. When I plot that, what do you get is for, uh, of course, you have to plot that for a given uh, tau, the k tau I have taken as 1, right. So, what do you get here is C A by C A naught, because C A by C, this C A naught I can take here. So, then it is only in terms of k tau, right. So, when k tau equal to 1, uh, you will get like this. Okay, there will be slight increase. Yeah, there will be slight increase. That depends on the conversion and uh, conversion depends on K two. Now I have not told you the real story behind this, and uh, now we have, we may operate this in various ways. Right? There are three ways of operating CSTR for getting steady state. Okay. So, this one is somehow that we filled up and then the outlet concentration at time t equal to 0. Okay. So, how can I do that? I can do that by filling up the entire uh, reactor with inert and then fill up. The entire volume is occupying by the uh, some inert liquid. right? So, then uh, when I start the actual reaction, my reaction, then at that time only time t equal to 0, C A not equal to C A equal to 0, because only first inert comes out. Inert means fraction of second, 0 plus we are saying instantaneous mixing. So, 0 plus if I take, you know these are all mathematical boundary conditions, you know, 0 plus if I take, I may get some concentration. Exactly at 0, I mean uh, I do not see that concentration, that means not even one molecule coming out. But 0 plus means, because of mixing, some molecules may come out. Okay? So, that is one uh, thinking, right? Th that means, mathematics and physics, you have to really try to match in your mind and then only write the boundary conditions. At that, uh, at that time, this is fantastic, this is fine. I will now, you know, inert we have filled up. The second option is, okay, first option is inert. Uh, filling up with inert and starting reaction, that is 1. Here only you will get C A equal to C A naught at a time t equal to 0, because inert you have. I take water and then I actually put my reactants later. So, that is inert, I mean because water is not reacting with that at all. So, that some inert. So, at time t equal to 0, exactly at that time when I start outlet concentration of this reactant will be 0, this is one condition. There is another way of operating. You tell me, what is the other way of operating? Yeah, that is one. Okay. Yeah, so, that means, I have CSTR, oh, I have CSTR, nothing is there inside and then slowly you fill up 
what is that method of filling up you call i mean in uh, in our uh, continuous system batch system semi continuous you are only feeding nothing is only input only input it is semi continuous that is much more difficult that will give you in the examination okay you think about that but okay that is one other one right what is the other operation this is one semi batch only you told semi batch only no you start putting both the reactants slowly it builds up during the time reaction also will happen correct no like batch exactly but batch with variable volume that, that. Huh? Batch with variable volume you have to think all this i say think 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 right yeah variable volume and then when it comes to overflow from then onwards it comes out from then onwards how much time it takes for steady state this time to find out is very easy can you tell me how raise me so we can just put it in batch reactor with uh -huh. volume. Volume till it comes to overflow volume volume that's all very simple okay, okay. volumetric flow rate that will give you that is straight forward ca calculation if i have 10 liters and i am uh, sending 1 liter per minute so 10 minutes it takes for to to fill up that's what i mean every day we can also see when we are pouring water in the glass or in the bottle all that you know how much time it takes is depending on how much time you know rate of flow into the bottle that's what every day you're doing for uh, drinking water and all that that is very simple so then once it fills up reaction also is happening during that that is complicated semi batch so from then onwards it overflows and comes out then it reaches steady state that is the actual practical way of doing things okay right that's what empt but need not be i think if i am an intelligent fellow i will say that no 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 why should i put that other way is to fill up the entire reactor with ca not itself to fill up the entire reactor with ca not and then start reaction conditions maybe temperature suddenly coming to 100 degree centigrade there are so many ways of uh, i mean conducting this uh, steady state operation for cstr i don't have product no if i have product no problem <laughs> yeah somehow i think you know in industry you go and tell sir somehow we will make the product sir i think that somehow will never work okay so that's not the practical way no because reactants but ca not i have i will fill it up and then i will start the reaction reaction conditions that means there is no reaction that means in the beginning it is almost inert and then it overflows and uh, you know at that time i can start the reaction also reaction temperature yeah that's also but i think steady state again i have to wait because i think you know what he says is the, but steady state all these are the possible things i mean at least i am happy you started thinking about this and if i have two reactants a and b yeah you know again you have so many possibility why i have to put only ca not and then start ca cb okay i can put both and then start i can put one uh, the, the, this way that way and then start see how many possibilities are there to start the reaction and you will get re real award from your uh, boss in the industry if you go to chemical industry okay if you are able to tell what is the simplest method what you can do simplest method means time saving and also yeah i mean th that is quick uh, steady state without losing much reactants because unsteady state you lose the reactants because you are not getting the product what you want actually so that is why you have the so many possibilities i will give you just another possibility that you know that uh, filling up with ca not that is option 1 option 2 fill the reactor with ca not and start flow with reaction conditions this is one of the this is one of the ways only I, I i i am not saying that i am right okay this is one of the methods i have chosen right where the differential equation is exactly same equation 5 only boundary condition is bc for this is yeah at t equal to 0 ca equal to ca not 
Okay. The other things are not that easy. You have to solve. You know, like for example, slowly filling up, and then it overflows. But the reaction is going on inside that. Okay. So after uh, uh, you, you, by the time it reaches to the top, what is the conversion? From then onwards, how much time it takes to reach the steady state? All that one can do it. And all the time, it's only for standard differential equation. You don't get more, right? So corresponding boundary conditions you have to take and then solve the problem. The solution what you get for this is the differential equation is same. This only. So then we have one minus k tau by one plus k tau. One minus exponential minus one plus k tau by tau into t. Can you tell me what kind of graph I get when I plot concentration C A by C A naught versus C A by C A naught versus t? It starts with one, no? I mean. Maximum is one. I don't say it will start with one or end with one. Start with one, huh? and then very good. I think all of you should be able to imagine this. Yeah. Then it reaches almost steady state. So this must be the steady state value. Okay, good. So there are so many other possibilities which you can do. So these are the boundary conditions I told you. you no. Know. So when I when I explained first this one, the first method. He was not very happy because that was not uh, in his mind. He was thinking something else. So then I tried to convince him with the first method, and then he said finally yes, sir, and all that. But I know that his eyes are not convinced; his head is convincing. Okay, yes, sir, yes, sir. So then I went home and then started seeing this, thinking that is why. Till then I also not thought. That is why when you ask questions or when you show an unhappy face, I have to think. Then I thought, and then I went and again saw you know transport phenomena book by our uh, grandfather B S L, so grandfathers. Okay, so then I, I you know I, he, he has solved this in a different way. So like that when I thought, and then sit down and then think there are so many ways of operating this, so many ways of operating this. Okay, but P F R is not a big problem because in one residence time everything happens, and normally what is the residence times we use in uh, P F R? Very small gas phase reactions. Very small, uh, you know, maybe seconds. Uh, so that's why you can wait 10 minutes. You will get beautiful steady state. No problem. Industry has that much time, and then you can go. But here we have the problem. So this is the one, and this is only just to give a a sample of uh, you know how you have to operate the CSTR. And I have done only for first order. This equation will be very very complicated the moment you go for the second order reaction. That is how I like you to do in the examination. So that's why you have to have. All you have to work more and more and more. I tell you. So now this is the one I think with steady state and uh, you know unsteady state reactors. Uh, yeah, these are the simple things only what you have done. Now let me go to recycle reactor. So when do you use recycle reactor to increase the conversion? Which is wrong answer. Okay, any other answer? Efficient utilization of reactants. Huh? Efficient utilization of reactants. Wrong. Autocatalytic. Autocatalytic. Not right. <laughs> okay. I mean straight away you cannot say it is autocatalytic. You know why? No, I am asking the reason. You are telling about an example. You are giving an example where it is used. But what I asked is, when do you use? Product output is low. For output low, there are thousands of reactors. Okay, including us. Product quality. <laughs> our output, our output is always less. Huh? To increase the yield. In case of reversible reaction, who told that? <laughs> Three kilometer. Ah. Huh? Converting PFR. Ah. Huh? When you are conversion between PFR and MR. Who told that? <laughs> when mixing is required in PFR, or when you want to have mixing between PFR and MFR. What is mixing in PFR? Zero. What is mixing in uh, MFR? Infinity, somewhere in between when you require, when you require, okay. So when you require, you told the answer. So that's why I'm asking. Huh? Ah, not conversion. How can you increase conversion? You know, 
by putting mixing we know that no mixing reactor is the best for, for normal reactions n greater than 0 right so that's why how can you increase conversion this is a bad thing huh, to tell you know uh, at this point of time recycled reactor is never used for increasing conversion because plug flow is the best and now here in mixer in uh, recycled reactor the mixing is there some mixing is there where that is bad for the reaction so that's why maximum mixing in cstr gives you lowest conversion okay it dilutes the concentrations so that is the reason so <coughs> intermediate mixing is required sometimes for multiple reactions multiple reactions a going to r r going to s again this fellow a going to r r going to s that is series so again a go to some other product b also go to some other product under those conditions sometimes under some conditions you have to control the mixing right so it is not ideal plug flow will give you 100 percent you know yield okay yield is the required product okay yeah yeah not the conversion yield so uh, to improve the yield in multiple reactions that can be used then another example what rahul told us that uh, autocatalytic reaction autocatalytic reaction is beautiful one why because i need some mix okay what do you mean by mixing so that means the products as well as reactants are mixing in uh, recycle reactor what i am uh, doing i am taking out the products and then bringing them and then putting into the inlet so autocatalytic reactor uh, for autocatalytic reaction uh, this is one of the best reactors but there are other arrangement of reactors also for autocatalytic reaction best okay it's not the only method but if i want to use a single reactor then the best reactor is uh, recycle reactor but again there are many conditions that's why autocatalytic happily we cannot accept if the conversion low is somewhere intermediate 80 percent conversion 70 percent conversion if i have conversions low around 0 0.5 0 0.4 cstr is the best how i am able to tell all this is if you plot 1 by minus r a versus c a or x a for auto catalytic reaction by looking at that you know which reactor is the best okay so that's why best way of looking at the uh, you know which reactor is the best okay the best way is to first plot i think i think let me tell this one before going to recycle so 1 by minus r a versus x a plot will give me lot of information okay i know that if it is monotonically increasing something like this which reactor is the best because the area is just area under the curve so here this area only p of r and this area will be pfr mfr that is more area so if i have a 1 by minus r a some crazy versus x a so i have here like this goes up like this which reactor is the best so now we have to divide this as parts yeah so one reactor may not give me any idea here so here when it is decreasing if i use a reactor till here like plug flow reactor for example area under the curve will be this entire thing same symbols this is pfr if i use mixed flow where is full region from here this is the outlet this is the outlet this is x equal to 0 okay yeah so this is the one for mfr same symbols next one this is pfr okay if i use here mixed flow this is the one the outlet concentration so this is the one again next one yeah so that depends on what conversion i need i need conversion here right so that means this entire thing is pfr and this one is best way is that that's why we, you know our people told that one uh, uh, picture can speak thousand words okay 
Yeah, so that is why pictures are best. Good. So, that is the one. Now, recycle reactor. First, you have to write when the recycle reactor is used. Whenever we have intermediate mixing between MFR and POFR, okay, used if mixing required is between PFR and MFR. Okay, conversion and all that will not come into picture. Okay, that is one. And another time, one more thing is there. Anyone can uh, say that? Sometimes we do that. Apart from this, of course, uh, this automatically tells me that this mixing is required to increase yield and all that. That we are not talking. I think everything will come there. Other than that, there is another use. Unreacted material is coming out, then you can recycle it back. Have, uh, that will not help so me actually. Huh? We have more than one reactant. If one reactant is uh, like limited, that's all those things will come under you know, whenever you require uh, uh, different mixing than so these ideal mixings. The yeah, how do you control the reaction? Rate? So, well, rate, yeah, when do you do that? I mean, uh, 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 why should I dilute the rate? Correct. Both are stilling almost the same. Like controlling the reaction, he said you are changing diluting. By diluting, I am controlling the rate only. Right? Yeah. Gopi? Yeah. If you want to control the temperature, okay, sometimes the products are used and then you can control the temperature inside the reactor. That is the other one. Okay. To control temperature. <coughs> Uh, inside the reactor okay under these conditions it is done good very good so now we will try to we have to derive an equation for this and the derivation uh, must be somewhere between these two only because it is not either uh, mixed flow reactor completely or it is not completely plug flow reactor so the derivation also must be in between the equation must be in between that okay so now first we we imagine that we have a plug flow ideal plug flow element okay recycle reactor consists of ideal plug flow element and now we will send the reactants they come out as products and you have to take out some yeah <coughs> product and then recycle this is ideally PFR. Good. So, how do you derive an equation? Here, there is a slightly uh, confusing thing. Levin's period also, I do not know how many, all of you have done it in your BTEC. Do you remember anything? Absolutely no. All uh, files are cleaned. Okay, good. Right. So, that is very good. Starting with clean sheet. Okay. So, now, I, we have uh, yeah, this PFR and the confusion comes there that uh, how do you first of all operate this recycle. My imagination is I think you know I have not seen you know uh, I have drawn my own diagram sometime long time back because I also had this confusion to tell clearly to the student, but as far as possible I am now trying still I do not know how many of you really convinced in what I am I am trying, trying to tell all those things. Okay. So, what I do is we first introduce F A naught here, no reaction, no reaction. So, if there is no reaction at the outlet also for steady state, I should have F A naught, right? Yeah. Now, but initially uh, uh, this is under steady state, but now I have to take out something and then recycle, right? Okay. So, now that much what I put here is that I have R into F A naught will be recycling. That means, if I have F A naught uh, as 1 liter per uh, minute, 1 liter per liter per, uh, per minute will come out, right? Then I am now recycling depending on recycle ratio, maybe let us say 5, recycle ratio 5 I have taken. 
so how much i have to recycle now one liter one liter how much i have to recycle if r is 5 it's a lkg question i say yeah you should scold me sir don't ask stupid questions but i think you are thinking very very carefully whether even though i think it is you are before supreme court where if you tell one word more i think judge may sue you and all that just to open your mouth and then say okay yeah so that is what i think in molar fluorates also it can be done that's no problem right so that's how only i operate otherwise if i send one later and one later and then if i take it back what will happen here it's not steady so that's why initially we fill up and then we try to recirculate that much all the time this is before reaction there is no reaction here there is no reaction right and now under steady state uh, hydrodynamic steady state condition you know what is hydrodynamic steady state condition yeah flow is constant excellent flow is constant how do you measure that normally we measure in terms of pressure drop for example if pressure drop is cha not changing constant then we will say flow also is constant i think pressure drop we had a um, lot of discussion earlier right so the moment uh, you have the velocity changing then pressure drop will be different so that may be unsteady right so that is why you have to wait that time hydrodynamic steady state and then suddenly bring this entire thing into a reacting conditions then what will happen to this entire diagram okay that i will draw now you have uh, same thing okay nothing will happen to f a not because that is entry right yeah and now i have this is the recycle yeah by the by so how do i define now recycle or this i have to define before going there in terms of volumetric flow rates you can write the amount of liquid recycled back divided by volume of liquid not amount i think volume of liquid coming out okay volume of liquid oh, okay of liquid recycled divided by volume of liquid withdrawn from the reactor so that is what is recycle ratio r okay good so then uh, what happens i have here reaction condition started so that means some reaction would have occurred here good okay so again we are now talking about steady state conditions after the reaction uh, condition started steady state this will be faf and the corresponding conversion will be xaf this is what what i wanted earlier okay in the beginning before designing this will be vf good so now this point at this point i have uh, yeah so this is already converted one in the reactor something converted and i am now taking back and then again mixing here originally i have this r into fa not also moving please remember r into fa not also moving otherwise i can't operate recycle okay recycle 3 4 5 whatever so that now this entire thing which was inside and then recycling that also will get converted right okay and uh, uh, before uh, okay uh, before that reacting conditions what will be the input here total input this is fa not plus yeah so that we call it as fa not dash as fa not into 1 plus r 1 plus r r r plus 1 okay good so that is the one which is there that is what is actually entering there that is what is being converted inside and because you are taking out under steady state conditions it will be faf xaf vf and here now the conditions will change that condition is yeah fa not is originally was there that i will write fa not dash d equal to 1 plus r fa not then i will also have fa1 here fa1 here also xa1 and also of course v1 all that and at this point i call it as xa2 and uh, r plus 
V f, if I write in terms of V f also, this is uh, no, V 1 only, this is V 1 and at this point I have R into V f, V f is coming here, oh, sorry. V is coming here, V also is entering there, right. So, this is R into V f and we also call this one as F a 3, which is R into F a f either in terms of moles or volumetric flow rate. Okay. So, now, uh, yeah, I think all these things are okay. So, what we have to do is, if you want to develop an equation, I have to develop only in terms of this and then this, because inside I do not know what is happening. right? But, that automatically will include this x a 1, because actual reaction is taking place from here only, right? from here only and this is again p of r. Yeah. So, because it is a P of R, I will take a small volume and then write the material balance entering, leaving all that in that. Okay. Yeah. So, now I have to also define my uh, rate, I mean the conversion here, the conversion is defined as F A equal to F A naught dash, please remember F A naught dash into 1 minus x a, f a naught dashed, what is dashed? Originally, yeah, it is 1 plus r. So, that is what is entering originally all the time, okay? yeah, because you are recycling that, you are recycling here. So, this is the one and uh, now, uh, this equation, you have this equation as uh, okay, minus d f a equal to F a naught dash will come from this here. The other one minus d f a equal to? I am talking about balance, material balance here. Uh -huh. you, 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 are, you are only trying to tell what is the meaning of F a, but this is equivalent to what in that volume? Reaction. Okay. Uh, yeah, what is that? Exactly, minus R A into D V that you cannot forget I say, should not forget. Okay. So, now D F A we can calculate from this, this is equation uh, 1 let me say, this is equation 2. Now, substitute that D F A here and then tell me what is the equation. Because this I have to simply differentiate, right. Yeah, F A naught dash D X A, I, I will write uh, in a different way. So, that means, uh, minus R A into D V equal to F A naught dash into D X A. So, now, how do I write this one as an equation uh, in our, uh, because it is a plug flow, V by F A naught. So, this is V by F A naught dash equal to integral D X A by minus R A, but now what are the boundary conditions? Yeah, it is X A 1 here to X A F. So, this is what is the, uh, the design expression for recycle, but still it is not completed in the sense that 3, 4, because I do not know what is F A naught dash, but anyway I know here F A naught dash and also I do not know what is x a 1. How do you find out x a 1? f a naught dash is easy, that I think you understood, but can I define uh, x a 1 in terms of, uh, how do you define for continuous systems, you know for flow systems, conversion? I am asking again stupid question. You should quickly react. What? Initial minuses donkeys or horses or what? Which flow rate? Molar flow rate. Ah, that is what? Initial molar flow rate F A naught, here it is F A naught dash okay. and minus F A 1 that is here. Okay. If, you are, if you are defining X A 1, right. So, that is what, what we do now. 
x a 1 equal to f a naught dashed minus f a 1 divided by f a naught dashed. Good? Okay, good. So, now we have to find out to find out x a, x a 1, what is f a 1 and f a naught dashed. f a naught dashed I know, this is equation number 5. What is f a naught dashed? Yeah, 1 plus r, okay, 1 plus r into f a naught, that is no problem, this is no equation given, number. Okay, 6 and uh, we have, uh, yeah. So, f a 1 I have to calculate now, what is f a 1? f a 1 is, you see the material balance here, this is f a 1, yeah, this is L, this is K, yeah. So, I, yeah, I think very good, what you understood, I think that is fantastic, very good. So, this one is, because all of you, I think you know, Gopi able to follow, no? At this junction, this is coming and also this is coming. This is coming F A naught, this is coming F A 3. F A 3 is nothing but again R into F A 1. So, that is why it is F A naught plus F A 3 equal to F A naught plus R into F A F. Okay, that is F A 1. Now, substitute this equation 7 and 6 in 5 and tell me what is X A 1? Uh, sir, X A 1 equal to R A, R A by X A F, very good, very good, yeah. X A 1 equal to R by R plus 1. Yeah, r by r plus 1 into x a f, that is all the derivation. So, now the equation for you is that v by f a naught equal to r plus 1 integral x a 1 equal to r by r plus 1 x a f to x a f d x a by minus r a. So, this is the design expression for not dashed. <laughs> so, because dashed is inside, I do not want to go to the dashed. Okay? Yeah. So, finally, I told you know we have to express only in terms of what is this point and what is this point. So, all the things other th things I know, v by f a naught dashed which I am continuously putting, I know that f a naught dashed comes before starting the reaction, where you have a recycle coming and you have so much volume which has to be recycled. And that effect of all that is only this F A 1, what is entering, because of some extra F A naught was there, that R into F A naught, all that together getting reacting and then giving me F A naught, F A 1 inside the, uh, at the start of the plug flow element. Good? So, this is the one and uh, yeah. So, initially, most of the time, you have to take some recycle ratio. You have to say that, okay, my recycle ratio equal to 1. Okay? So, and conversion is 90 percent, then you can calculate volume, not volumetric flow rate, volume or otherwise if I know volume, you can calculate x a f, but again r should be known in the beginning to you. Okay? Yeah, in the beginning you have to choose the r, right, but mathematically, uh, how, uh? how do we choose? Yeah, how do you choose? Okay, good. How do you choose? So, what will happen when r equal to infinity to this, to this equation? r equal to 0, and then what did you say mixed flow? I said infinity? Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, okay. r equal to infinity mixed flow, right, I am sorry, yeah. So, r equal to 0 is plug flow. Now, how do I choose? In between 0, I think you know, one life one uh, life uh, is enough to choose or not enough to choose, because you have to now decide whether you want mixing very close to PFR or mixing close to MFR. Right? So, when you have close mixing to MFR, then do not go to infinity. Even 500 is too long, about uh, too big. 20, 30, 15, 16 also is very high. 
Okay, like exactly, you know, you don't have to go to infinite number of tanks to get plug flow. Right? So you 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 have seen no six reactors. After six reactors, six to infinity number of reactors when you use, then only you will get that small change. I think it is three point three, yeah, three one and maybe three point five or something. To compensate only point five, you will go to six to infinity number of tanks. So here also recycle ratios also are same. Okay. Beyond twenty twenty five, you almost reach twenty twenty two also large value. I am telling you can calculate that actually, right? So you will almost get mixed flow. So that is why what you have to choose is okay. Now I am very I want to be very close to plug flow. Then R can be point one, point five, one, one also is large. When you want to be very close to P of R, and that comes when you have the sufficient experience. Okay, what kind of mixing may be required for me? to control my temperature right and to get some yield what kind of mixing we need so that's why we have computers we have brains so you have to simulate and then try to find out what is the best recycle ratio and there is another way of finding also optimal recycle ratio and all that that also i will tell you okay that's all but only thing is pfr is not receiving fresh fresh uh, reactant but it is mixed, mixed with product so that means some mixing is happening what is happening in mixed flow You are putting fresh uh, reactant, but it is now perfectly mixed with the products, old ones. Okay, there it is perfect mixing. I think between uh, products and fresh liquid. That is why you have the minimum dilution, no, minimum, uh, maximum dilution possible. But here we can control. If I send only very very small uh, quantity, then I, I I am operating almost PFR. If I send very large quantities. This will behave as mixed flow. I think that is another my favorite question. This equation can be beautifully simplified when r equal to zero, r equal to infinity. Two extremes we can beautifully uh, simplify that equation. That also please check that. Okay. So the next thing will be how do we plot this? Plotting this is really big headache because I like graphs, right? So that is why how do I put this information on graphs? That means again I have to plot one by minus r versus x a so what is the volume equivalent to area see like you are uh, if it is ideal single plug flow you draw like this if it is monotonically increasing take area under the curve this area under the curve equivalent to some volume right so similarly here also what areas i have to take and how do you calculate what is the volume from the graph that we will discuss in the next class